In this video, I'll be showing you how to build 30 different Minecraft wall designs. While showing you how to build them, I also want to talk about my build process and some of my ideas behind each design. I really hope you find this video helpful and that it gives you some ideas for your Minecraft worlds. I'd love to know what your favorite wall design is, so be sure to let me know in the comments. We just finished our super colorful flower wall, so I want to move on to a stone wall next. I added some pillars and then to add some depth, I'm using stairs and slabs. And then because this wall was looking kind of gray, I added a few flower pots and added some azaleas. Modern walls are super fun to make. I typically stick to a neutral color palette. So in this case, I used smooth quartz. And then to add a little bit of interest, I'm using some iron gates, which work well since we can see through them. And I thought this wall could use a bit more detail. So I added some flowers and ferns, which just tied everything together. Next up is one of my favorite designs from this whole video, which is a castle theme. Castles are obviously made to be pretty strong, so I typically stick to stone blocks when I'm designing anything castle related. To keep things interesting though, I'm using a variety of stone type blocks. So here I'm using cobblestone, stone bricks, and also chiseled stone bricks. They all work super well together and complement each other. To add some detail as well as a pop of color, I'm adding spruce trap doors and buttons. And then to tie everything together, I added some flowers. Next up is a fortified design. For this one, I chose to build it primarily out of polished andesite. I've been really into using this block lately as it looks super reinforced and strong. To make this fortified wall look more intimidating to any potential intruders, I added some little spikes on top using spruce fences, which I think works super well. And then I filled in the back of the wall using stripped spruce wood and then to add some detail and depth, I'm using spruce trap doors and spruce buttons. Adding those little details are what I think really pulls builds together and makes them look more polished. Next up is a gothic design. For this one, I wanted to stick to typically darker blocks. So I'm using dark oak wood as well as polished deep slate, which I think works super well together. Honestly, I'm kind of in love with this block palette lately and I want to do some more builds in it. And I'm really happy with how this wall came out, the sort of pattern that's in between these pillars, and I also like that you can see through it, which is a nice bonus. I really love sort of old type builds. I think it adds a lot of story and interest to your worlds. So for this one, I wanted to build this super mossy wall, like kind of this wall that was built, I don't know, hundreds of years ago, that's kind of been overtaken by nature and is sort of worn down. So I'm using a variety of moss blocks, as well as using some stairs and some slabs, just to make it look a little bit more rough and worn down from the elements. And then I'm also just adding some kind of walls and stairs to the sides, just to add a bit more depth. For this next wall, I had the idea of using materials that you could only get from an oak tree. And it's a pretty simple design, but I think it's perfect for the start of any survival world. Next up is this super awesome village design. For this one, I'm using regular spruce logs, which I think works super well for kind of a village look since it's this raw wood material. And then to add some depth, I used some logs uh, kind of sticking out of the sides and then added some fences all around. And then one of the things that I really like about this design is at the top, I added this sort of cover using slabs and trapdoors. I think it makes the wall look a little bit more fancy, which is perfect for a village since they're kind of wanting to show off their wealth and look a little bit stylish as well as protecting the village. And I added these little archways using stairs and trapdoors. And then to make the wall look more reinforced, I'm adding some stone bricks at the front as well as some buttons just for a bit of detail. I really love natural looking walls. So for this next one, I went for a simple hedge design. I added logs on both sides. And then in the middle, I'm adding a combination of regular azalea leaves as well as the flowering azalea leaves, which I really like the combination of both. It adds a little bit of interest. Switching it up a bit, I wanted to build an evil design. I'm pretty much only using deep slate blocks as they have this super dark color to them, which I think works well for this theme. And then I added some walls on top, which look like some spikes. And then to add depth, I'm using walls, stairs, and slabs. And then to add just the smallest highlight of color, I added a few dark oak trap doors. Similar to the mossy wall, I wanted to build another weathered wall that looks like it's been around for quite a while. So for this one, I'm using mossy, cracked, and regular stone bricks. And then to add some flair to the design, I'm using stairs as well as slabs to create a bit of a pattern. 
And then to add some depth, I'm using a combination of walls and spruce gates, which just tie the whole thing together. I typically build in a medieval or rustic theme, but I think it's always fun every once in a while to explore some different types of building styles. So for this one, I wanted to go for a Japanese themed wall. And you know, I'm not really familiar with this type of building style. So I just looked up some images on Google to use as some inspiration. And this is something that I really recommend doing if you're building in any style that you're not familiar with. In my case, I found that it's super helpful when I'm trying to improve my building skills to build in styles that I'm not super familiar with, since it's going to force you to come up with some different building techniques and ideas that you probably haven't used in the past. So it's really a great way to improve as a builder and increase your building skills. For this next wall, I went for a palisade design, which basically just means that it kind of has these logs with spikes at the top. But of course, to add some interest to the wall, I had to add some chiseled stone bricks as well as some stairs. And then here you're seeing me add the fences to make it look like it's spiked. And then I'm also just adding trap doors as well as leaves with flower pots on top, just to make the wall look a little bit more colorful and more interesting. Next up is one of the more simple designs of this video, but I think it's really cool since it uses this interesting building technique. Basically, when you attach a gate to a wall, it's at a different height compared to any other block. So using this technique, we can create some really cool archway designs, which otherwise wouldn't be possible. I'd really recommend messing around with this building technique, as there's a lot of different designs that you can come up with. I wanted to build another modern themed wall, so for this one, I'm pretty much using the exact same block palette as the modern wall we made earlier, but to add a really nice pop of color, I added sunflowers as well as cornflowers. Next up is the biggest wall of this video. I imagined this wall wrapping around a huge city, so I designed it to be both big, detailed, and defensible. To achieve this, I started with a big flat stone wall. This is going to ensure that our wall is defensible and has a strong base. To add some detail, I'm adding a pattern at the top that kind of resembles what you'd see on a castle, which is going to make the wall look even more defensible. I also added some support beams along the wall to make it look even stronger. And in between these support beams, we can add some windows using spruce fences. Placing some shutters beside them is a nice detail, as you could imagine that they can be shut if you don't want anybody looking through the wall. And then to add a pop of color, I added some leaves as well as some flowers. I wanted to design something that was small but also detailed, so I came up with this design that uses a combination of walls as well as stairs to create this really cool pattern. And I wanted it to have a little bit of pop, so I added some leaves as well as some lanterns and trapdoors on top to light up the surrounding area. Mangrove trees are still relatively new to the game, so I wanted to experiment with the design using primarily mangrove materials. I think the stripped wood looks super nice, I really love this red color, and I think it complements very well with mud bricks. It's always fun when Minecraft releases new blocks for us to build with, so I'd always recommend using them and experimenting with them even a couple of times just to feel it out. I'm also going to be using mud bricks for our next design, which is an azalea theme. I'm using the mud brick walls, and then in between them I'm adding these leaves. And then to tie everything together, I used spruce fences as well as gates. And then on top, I added trapdoors, which I think really just cap off the wall and make it look complete. I wanted to experiment with as many different styles as possible, so for this next one, I went for a desert theme. It was super fun designing this, as it's actually been a while since I've built in this theme. I like mixing the sandstone with wood, whether it be spruce or oak, I think both work really well. And you can also see that I'm using that wall and fence technique that I showed you guys earlier. I called this next wall design futuristic, but really it's just a take on a modern wall. I used deep slate and smooth quartz, which contrast each other super well as one is black and one is white, so I think they work really well together and create this appealing to look at design. Spruce is my favorite building material, so you already know I had to build a wall based on that theme. I started with some tall logs and then added some slabs on top, and then I created these super cool kind of oval circles in between the pillars. I really like how these came out. You could just imagine this wall stretched out along a huge distance, it would be super cool to look at. But on top of the wall, I'm going to add some oak trap doors, which add a new color to the wall, but it also fits with that spruce theme. To tie it all together, I'm adding some trapdoors in the front as well as on the top. 
And then I wanted to fill in the back of the wall, so I'm using gravel in combination with stone. And having these two blocks work in combination adds some texture variation and makes our wall look more interesting. I called this next wall design expensive and you're about to see in a few seconds because I'm going to use anvils in this build. So if you're gonna build this in survival, it's definitely gonna be pretty expensive. You're gonna want an iron farm for sure. But I like how this design came out, pretty simple, but also detailed and nice to look at. I really like walls with arches. So for this next one, I'm building up some pillars and then in between them, I'm gonna create arches using stairs as well as slabs. And then in between them, I wanna add some color. So I'm adding coarse dirt adding some trapdoors on the side to look like it's holding the dirt in, and then we can add some flowers on top. If you've ever driven past a farm or a ranch, you've probably seen those super long wood fences that just stretch along forever. So I tried to recreate that using some logs, and then in between, I just added fences and gates. This next design is a little goofy, but I just wanted to mess with a simple end theme. I think this would look cool if you're ever building a base in the end, but it's pretty simple just using the purple blocks as well as some end stone. And I also added some end rods on top, which are pretty cool since they also light up the area. Next up, I wanted to build a natural wall. So I'm using a combination of stone brick walls and moss blocks. And then I wanna connect both sides of the walls. So I'm adding some spruce fences and then connecting both sides using trap doors. Underneath, I'm gonna hang some glowberries. I really love how this looks. I could imagine this in some sort of vineyard where they're growing grapes for wine. Next up is a really cool wooden design. And something I often like doing when I'm building with wood is using barrels. They kind of look like a regular log with sort of like an iron strap across it or something like that. It just makes the build look a little bit more reinforced and adds a nice little detail. For this wall, I'm sort of using this forbidden building technique of creating what looks like vertical slabs using trapdoors. I think it's pretty fun. I always get comments like, how is this guy having vertical slabs? It's just trapdoors, guys. But I filled the back end with leaves and this wall looks super cool. We're already at our 30th and final design. I can't believe it. But for this one, I went for a cool pillar look and I'm doing this using a bunch of different stone type blocks. So the polished andesite, stone, stone bricks. And then in between the pillars, I'm adding leaves with spruce gates above. I really love how all these blocks work together, the stone, the spruce, and the leaves. Anytime I'm going for any sort of like medieval theme, these are kind of my go-to blocks. And also mixing a little bit of cobblestone into the mix also helps with that. It just looks like all these stone blocks are reinforced, super strong. And then just tying everything together with little pops of color and detail just makes the wall look perfect. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and that some of these wall designs gave you some inspiration for your own Minecraft world. As always, a super special thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. It means a lot. And if you guys did enjoy this video, consider giving it a like and subscribing so you don't miss my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and happy building.